off into the wet. Common, uh, right, that's the common perennial right there. All right, and then it splits off into the, what's the other side? Tibial nerve. What does the tibial nerve intervene? Everything on the back. So the bicep short head. Okay. All right. We'll finish off the nerves over here. That common peroneal splits off in the front. You can see it in the front again. And the front, what's this part called? What's that nerve called? No, this is the deep peroneal. Right, deep peroneal. That's the artery. The artery is the anterior tibia. Right? And then the one you can see on the ankle, superficial peroneal. Right. All right. On the front, this is the part that's changed a little bit. We got, what's this nerve called right here? We already knew this one. Femoral nerve, right. Now what's changed is that once this splits off, he's gonna pin down here. He's gonna pin a lot lower, and it's gonna be called the saphenous nerve. S-A-P-H-E-N-O-U-S, saphenous nerve. All right, remember the greater saphenous vein? That's what it comes from. Saphenous, all right? The big changes. The big changes are the arteries. We'll start in the front. This part hasn't changed. What's this artery called? Femoral, right. And then this one right here that goes to the bone? Deep femoral artery, right. Okay, the back. This is where the new things are. And this one up here, where the gluteus is, is going to be called the superior gluteal artery. Again, that should make sense. All right, and the one below that, what would you call that? Inferior gluteal artery. These pretty much make a lot of sense. All right. This artery on the back is called what? It's called popliteal. Popliteal artery. Remember she scribbled and everything? You're going to need to know that scribble. Except it's a lot easier on this. All right. You're going to have four little branches. You see this one, two, three, and four. See those? All right. All you have to know is the word genicular, and you can figure these out. This is the medial side, this is the lateral side. So, superior medial genicular artery. Okay? It's really easy when they got big names because they explain where they are. Alright, and this one is superior lateral genicular. Alright, and remember, know that this is the left leg. The left leg is the only one that falls off. So it'll be the left superior medial genicular and the, the left lateral superior genicular. Alright, and these down here. Genicular, right. Inferior medial genicular artery right here. And the inferior lateral genicular artery right here. Okay? And this artery that comes down here, this hasn't changed. Posterior tibialis artery, or tibial artery. All right, and then this one right here, if that was the posterior, this is the anterior, anterior tibial artery. Okay, and that's that's all you can see on this leg. Um, this this vein right here is called what? Popliteal vein. Right, and you're not going to see this happen in the vein on this model. Why isn't it the tibial since everything else changed? Right. What do you mean? The, for the veins? The, you know how behind the knee everything's right. popliteal? Yeah, this is going to be popliteal. He, he probably won't pin this as tibial vein. Okay. This is all popliteal because it's in the region of the knee. Right, but why, why do the other, like, why does the nerve and the um, artery change names but not that one? The um, I, don't, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It just okay. doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, What's the, on the ankle again? The vein? The, right here? That's the deep peroneal. Okay. Deep peroneal nerve, right? Mm -hmm.